Welcome everybody, Amp Capo here, Black Adonis Games, man. Um, today, man, I'm just going to be in work mode, man. I wanted to show you guys uh, how I added the audio to the Niagara Particles um, and try to make it make sense for everybody, man, because this is something that, you know, I learned, but, you know, it took me a while because people weren't teaching me the right way, and so I want to teach you the right way to do it here, so... Let's go ahead and go in. Now this is the particle I want to use. Okay. So what we're going to do is what I want to do is see where I want to add my audio. So if you see here, this is a spark. There's a glow. These nodes make a difference. So um, there is a spark. There's a spark wild. And then there's electric. So all of these are different spots in this. I probably could just add it in one place, which I'm probably going to just do. I'm just going to add it at the spark because that's the first thing in the, in the row. So what we want to do here, guys, is you want to go here. You want to open your Niagara particle. Um, if you've bought a particle and you're trying to add to it like I did my fireworks and the lesser God um, basically man all you got to do is go here to where it says particle spawn you want to press a plus and you want to go to audio and we're just going to use the regular play audio we're not going to get into these other two right now we're just going to go to the regular play audio okay so once you have this in here it's going to tell you there's some problems um, and this is because this is a GPU particle so it's telling me that I can't use it here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut this. So you have to use CPU particles if you're going to do it. So I would have to do it here on the glow, which is fine. Either on this one, it doesn't really matter. There's one CPU. We're going to have to do it on that one. But that's good enough because this particle, the way it fires, you can put it at any point. And it's going to be fine. So let's go ahead and we're going to do it here. We're going to put audio play audio and then you're going to see now we don't get the red wording we just get this blue one because it's experimental doesn't matter dismiss that now we can pick what we want to play now I do have some um, electric noises already some shock noises so we can do spark and we have fire sparks Q, and then we have spark Q here so if we double click on this we see we got a few spark cues we can play them And these are kind of long. These are kind of long. So I don't know if I really want to use those. Those are pretty long. That's longer than I want it to be. So let's get back out and see if we have something else. Um, let's see if we have electric. Okay, so we do have some electric. <clears throat> some different electric hits here. We got electric swooshes and impacts and stuff. Um, let's try the electro impact cue here. And let's see what that is. Yeah. Those are nice and short. This is a lot better. So we're going to go ahead and add that. Um, attenuation we really don't need because this uh, effect is going to be right at the character. So we really don't need that. We're going to have a spark right by the character. So that's fine. Um, so the next thing we want to do is once you have this play audio, the way this works is you need to actually set it so that it triggers. And the way you trigger it is since this is actually part of the particle spawn, this is the particle system. So you want to go here to the particle attributes and you want to look for play audio and it's a bull that you're looking for so if you go down you'll see bulls are always red as we know if you've uh, been in the engine so we're going to go here to play audio now what you want to do is drag this and you want to make sure it's above your audio track otherwise it's not going to work and if you see here by default in the engine this is set to not play because here it says play audio so it's set not to play that's why this is not going to play until we 
set that now in the Niagara system editor there is no way to hear the sound so what you're gonna want to do guys is we're gonna go ahead and shrink this down you see the star here this is the particle that we're working on you just want to drag a copy of it into the level and there you go see it fired off so um, you can hear it and preview it in the level let's go here and we're gonna go ahead and just highlight it so we know where it is it's right there let's go ahead and zoom back down to it because I've gotten really far away from it so we're just gonna go ahead and zoom back down to it and I still want to keep it where I had it at and we're just gonna speed this up a little bit because we need to all right so now we're just gonna zoom back down and you can see here my landscape looks so weird from far away man looks like there's kind of something there but nothing there all right so this is it this is our particle effect um, it doesn't matter where we have it we just need to know where it is and be able to take a look at it so we can see how the sound is going with what we're doing so if you want to trigger the sound once you have it here in and I actually just moved the nav mesh bound so I don't know why let's go ahead and put that back wherever the heck it was we're gonna go all the way until I don't see the hit anymore alright there we go so now we should be good we just want the electric hit alright there we go my bad guys got a little bit lost there something weird happened so just selected something different so now if we look here we can go to the uh, on the side here and there should be a tr trigger where you say force solo anything you change is going to trigger it so now you can see it so now let's zoom in even closer so we can really see it here so you can see if the sound goes the way you want it to go and these are random sounds so see that see and those sound really good so that's basically it guys now the nice thing about these is if you're working on a and let's go back into that Niagara system here the nice thing about these play audios is if say you wanted to put it somewhere else you can literally just highlight both of them using the uh, control and um, just click at it you can copy these so you know control C or copy and then when you want to use them again you can just paste them into another node by right clicking here and pressing paste it's not gonna work here because this is a GPU but I'm saying if you're in another um, system you can just paste them from that point so you really only need to make one set and then you can just go in and keep changing the audio and add attenuation concurrency stuff like that if you want to add it um, what I want to do is show you guys another one that I have here in the level and it's the NS Willow this one this is one of the uh, fireworks that I use um, if we go take a look it's here over the water and um, this is what I use in the lesser God so you can see there now this was a lot more difficult than the one that I showed you guys <clears throat> but I want to show you this one anyway okay so if you look here there's play audio now this takes a different uh, setup than the other one and as you see here this is all CPU so these are nice and easy to use the thing is is that you want to time them and they all have different names here like you have a rocket and then you want to watch the particle itself because if you watch the particle it'll show you what's going on and there's a rocket the rockets are when it takes off so that's why this is the first thing on the list that's why I have the scream here so if you look here I have the screamers that go off okay and I have nothing here there's no need for anything here the big flash is right when it's when it blows up so that's the first big flash there I have it playing the single mortar which is the boom so you hear it go boom right when it when those flashes happen because that's the explosion then there's another set of rockets and you got to look at this because you got to pay attention um, to what's going on in your particle so these little streams that come out those are more rockets so here you can actually play audio again 
<clears throat> excuse me and what we did is we played the crackly you know pops there um, and if you come down here we got another set here this is the other the last set of rockets that takes off which is the last little set there and we got the single mortar which blows up again to trigger off boom right here the last particle so when we watch it and I'm, I'm just gonna take you in and show you so you can actually see it again now it'll make a little bit more sense so boom those are the rockets boom big blast boom rockets again boom rockets again so that's how you're hearing what you're hearing It's basically timing them according to what's actually happening inside of your Niagara system so it's not very difficult you just want to make sure that every time you play a particle that you go in here to where it says particle attributes and you grab this play audio and you make sure that it is above not below but above because this is the trigger to trigger this this stuff goes in order so it's going to initialize the particle it's going to add this it's going to do the velocity from point and then it's going to play the audio so it's going to do all this stuff in order and this triggers to play this so without this nothing happens here so just make sure that you have this here guys and that's it man you can go in and treat your audio like you would always do you do have settings where you can do pitches and you can do random pitches by going and um, actually going in and adding um, attributes here like we could go here and type random float in range and then it would give us random volume random pitch so that you can vary it a little bit to make it a little bit more realistic with fall offs and things I have it set up with uh, to do things by distance so it sounds good already I don't need to add that extra but guys that's pretty much how you do it and then when you're done basically you will have this that's it guys man thank you for tuning in man Amp Capo Black Adonis Games, man. If you have anything you want me to do, man, that you see in my project, I will try to address it and do it, man. I, like I said, guys, I can't show you every single thing exactly how I do it, but I can show y'all most of the things that I do in the basic version. You know what I mean? I'm not going to go into detail about every single aspect of it, but I'm definitely going to show you enough knowledge to get you where you need to go to start doing it. So um, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games. Um, let everybody know, man. Let everybody know about the studio. Let everybody know what we're doing. Much love to all my subscribers, and thanks again. I'm out. Mm -hmm.